Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry, featuring RV travel, outdoor cooking, boating, and amazing road trips. Thanks for watching and let's begin. Don't forget to subscribe. Previously on part one of Return to Washington State. And guess what? <laughs> We're going there again. Well, welcome to part two of Returning to Washington. And one of our primary things I had to do before we go is we, as soon as we got back from the first trip, I had to put the canopy back in the truck. And then we find out we're going to Washington again. Now I got to put, take the tent canopy off, which we did. And I thought I'd show you what we did. This is our truck. Sun's in the wrong spot. And this is where we uh, put our canopy. Oh, there. Sun's a little better there. So uh, we're set to go. Now our trailer hitch is up in Washington in the storage unit so I don't have to worry about the fifth wheel hitch until I get up there. And then I got to get it in the truck by myself and the thing weighs a ton. So uh, this is Sunday. I'm leaving Tuesday morning. Sherry will fly up Friday and I'll meet her up in Bellingham. So I have three days of driving uh, and uh, I'm going to get up there a day early and we're going to be boondocking the first three days. So that's the setup so far. So uh, I'll probably show you a few more things about getting ready. It would just be me and Cinder. Uh, I have some basic things in the truck just to keep cool. Uh, primary things having food for Cinder, water for Cinder. It's all about Cinder. And uh, uh, the problem is when you're traveling with a pet is the weather down here is really hot and it's going to be that way all the way up to about Reno. So I can't leave Cinder in the truck, so we got to make do with what we got. So that's our setup, and we're ready to start moving forward. So this is the day before I leave. So I'm starting to put things together, and I'm realizing I've got more things for Cinder than I think I do for myself on this trip. So let's see. One can of food for every day that we're <laughs> she always eats at four. Uh, treats poopy bags for medicine, for leashes, and of course peanut butter. So uh, I think I get cinder packed. <laughs> now she'll get like a full bag of stuff and I'll get like a little bag. So I don't know. Kind of no. No, the Fritos are not for her. That's actually for me. But anyway, we're about ready to go. So tomorrow morning we'll get up really early and hit the road. So the next morning, Cinder and Rob got up at three in the morning and started down the road. Wondering who gets up this early in the morning. Well, good morning, everyone. It's our first day in the road. I uh, got up at 3.30 this morning. Um, just, I don't know, maybe 50 miles from Kingman, maybe 75. I got a long drive today. I think I got 12 hours of driving today to get up to Fallon, Nevada. So I'll be going through Las Vegas pretty soon. Well, not for a few hours. I got my handy dandy trusty dog with me, Cinder. And uh, once again, she's a great traveling dog, very patient. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, a little bumpy here, sorry. So we're out in the middle of nowhere. Have a long day. Uh, once again, I'll be driving for three days um, up to Anacortes, Washington, where on Friday, it's Tuesday today, um, I'll have kind of an extra day before Sherry gets there. We'll fly up from Phoenix, meet me there, and we'll meet some friends there. So, anyway, that's the scoop.
right, just checking in with you guys. I've driven 415 miles. Uh, went through Vegas, went through a uh, little town of Beatty, and working my way to Tonopah. So, all there is right now is this desert for the next 200 miles. Uh, I think uh, my main goal is to stop in uh, Hawthorne to get something for late lunch. And Cinder and I are just bored to death. Well, we just made it to Hawthorne. Uh, we only have about another 50, 60 miles to go, which is kind of nice. We'll actually get to uh, Fallon about 5 o'clock, 5.30. So we stopped at McDonald's, like normal, and of course, Cinder got her french fries, and uh, it's all about the french fries, and she's a happy camper, so we have to keep the engine running because it's kind of warm out, so I want to keep the air conditioning going. So anyway, that uh, pretty much wraps up um, today, which is Tuesday. Tomorrow morning we'll be getting up really early and going to Central Oregon and uh i'll get to see sherry's folks for the evening next morning get up at three again go the rest of the way and then uh we get to enjoy some RVing. so there we go so after that rob drove another 50 miles to fallon nevada to wrap up the long day stay tuned for the next episode of part three when rob goes from fallon nevada to central oregon Thank you for watching part two of Return to Washington. Stay tuned for part three when we enter Central Oregon on our way to Washington State. Please take the time to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos. Take care now.